Welcome to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. Today we're going to have a look at the new release of the new Citrans Library faceplates for PCS7 version 9 Service Pack 1 and Service Pack 2. So you can see here a list of the, the instruments that are supported and you can see the, the instruments that are new and uh, that is the one we're going to focus on, the Coriolis flow meter. So this covers um, the FCT-030 transmitter on um, Profibus um, PA and DP. And, uh, we, we already had the, the existing one on Heart. As you scroll to the bottom of this uh, page, you'll see the free downloads of the Citrans library and this is the version we're looking at 9.2 for PCS7 version 9 service pack 1 and service pack 2 as you can see there. Um, so you need to download that, install that on your ES and your OS if you've got a separate OS and then um, integrate the blocks and the face plates into your project. Once you've got that, we're going to return to our demo project in the Worcester office. We already have a Coriolis meter set up. So this is a true multivariable flow meter. So you can see here 15 process variables can come back with input and output uh, functionality. So um, we're going to be looking at a couple of things here. So we've got uh, volume flow that we're interested in. So that's total volume flow. And then uh, fraction flow A is the total flow for um, your alcohol, percentage alcohol and or ethanol. And fraction B is the amount of water. So we're actually looking at a distilling process in our demo. And then we have um, Totalizer uh, 3 set up as a um, uh, total of the total alcohol that's flown. So uh, a nice example for, for the distilling process. But for the faceplate, we need to make a, a note of this value here, 743. So uh, input address 743. If I go back to my um, uh, process object view, I want to install the Coriolis meter under this screen here, my fill in demo. So if I open the library, under the library, we'll see the FC430PA. It's a little bit misleading, the Profibus DP one, which I have. Um, has exactly the, the same memory map. So the it says Citrans um, FC430 PA. Um, it, it really should read FCT030, so it covers all the sensors and it covers Profibus PA and DP because they have identical memory maps. So I can drag that into my project. Uh, I can rename it here. That's the uh, the the name that will appear on my faceplate now, ABV flow. And it's quite a big um, CFC, so we'll, we'll, look, we'll look at what we need to do first. So we need to put in the memory location here. We go back to our hardware, so 743. So the the CFC itself reads all of the process values that you've got set up in your slot index table on your hardware screen, but with regards to um, but with regards to what it shows on the main faceplate and what you've got control for, uh, you've got four process values. So your mass flow, you can't change that because it's Coriolis flow meter. So we're interested in dosing. we're going to dose uh, shots then we're interested in the fraction A which is going to be the flow rate of the uh, volume flow rate of the alcohol and then we're also interested in the 
total. So this enables us to be able to control total ISO three. So pause it, reset it. If you come down and have a look down here, the process values are being read anyway, so you can see mass flow, density, um, and those will still be be read. But this is what you have control over via the faceplate. There's a couple more things that we need to to do. So if we click here at the top, uh, we can rename this as well. I'll give it the same name. Then we need to look at our I/O table. And to enable disable functionality, everything's under the feature bit, similar to all of the Citrans library faceplates. So if we have a look at the feature bits in more detail, you'll see there enable dosing but I want to set that you can also automate the acyclic read so it does them during uh, a startup um, and that's for the dosing parameters now you may want to if you're doing automate, automated dosing then that makes sense that uh, you do that but we're just running it in manual then the other thing that we want to do with the feature bit is we want to enable the zero adjustment via the faceplate. Let me just put a one in there. So this is now ready to be compiled and downloaded. So once we've finished the uh, compile and download, we can monitor our process values and, and unfortunately these uh, the totalizer is re reset at zero because I reset it from PDM and the other ones are, are flow rates so we can't see those but if you come down to the other process values we can see the density, fluid me media temperature and then as the uh, CFC continues. I've got my uh, fraction as a percentage. So my ABV of alcohol, alcohol by volume, is there 7% or 0.7%, and then I have 99% water. So I've I've got very diluted vo vodka, but it does show you how it can read at the the bottom end uh, for that cut, maybe on a on a wash still. So. Happy that the CFC is working, so now we need to generate the um, visualization. So we create the block icons. I'm only selecting the uh, the the page that I need to update. I'll position it so the new icon will appear in the top left. We've generated the block icon. What we need to do now is to compile the OS. Again, I'm only going to do the demo wall back because that's the only one I've really changed. So that's the compile finished. Um, if I had a separate OS, in this case I haven't, I've got an ES and OS rolled into one, I would have to do a uh, PLC and download that to, to my separate OS. I haven't, so I just need to go to my new wall, and I can see my faceplate, everything says custom, because the first thing I need to do is read this. Now you can automate this, so OB100, which is a startup, or OB86, does this but because we're doing everything in manual I'm just doing a manual read and what you'll start to see is it will pull in the units and my settings from the Coriolis meter it's doing that acyclically um, so it's not going to interfere with any cyclic data transfer so we'll 
when it's finished these go to back to black dots you can see under here what my low flow cutoff is set at so um, and my low flow cutoff for volume flow is, is zero so I may want to change that I can do my zero point adjust from here and I haven't set up totalizer um, uh, two and three for for operation if, that, if remember I had to pull that into the CFC so it's just totalizer three on ABV where I can uh, control that so reset it the trends should be pulling in the four process values that are set up so mass flow dosing ABV and total okay and now that's ready so when I'm ready to go when it's finished reading I can use this to dose I can use it to to link my one of 15 process values to other parts of, of my plant and I can also use it now to, to program individual alarms for for the four process values that I've that I've got mapped so to, to finish off we need to enable the dosing functionality on the faceplate if we go here uh, there should be an icon for us to, to press on unfortunately that's not there so if we go back to uh, CFC all I've done is put that in monitor mode I can see here dosing enable I just set that to a 1 I'll set it here on my faceplate and, and uh, download it to the automation station. So that's all I need to do. Go back to my project. I might have to do a bit of a refresh. If I come back to this screen now, I now have the dosing functionality. So I'll just explain what we've got on this screen. We have uh, obviously the faceplate. And on here I can see my percentage alcohol. I have this uh, full with vodka, which is 37%. This um, uh, particular flow sensor is a demo flow sensor and is not density calibrated. So if you had a density calibrated flow meter, it would be it would be bang on. Um, so I have a load cell. So this is a Surarex load cell. So this is um, designed to emulate what you would have on a distillery if you're selling a lorry load of alcohol for to another uh, manufacturer for blending so we have the total volume and the, the alcohol volume so the bit you're getting taxed on here being monitored and if I start the dosing procedure off first thing I've got to do is put the password in is 2457 that's now downloaded to the device my set point for, for my batch is um, 35 grams now I can go to the batching functionality start the batch off and on this trend here you can see this light blue is my volume flow and the dark blue is my ABV alcohol by volume so underneath this light blue because I've set the units to kilograms per hour actually that's wrong that should be liters per hour sorry about that the, you have the the mass flow spike as well so we have um, here uh, the the value for density so you can just see that's dropped a little bit so there you have it the, the faceplate is is up and running batching uh, and it's um, uh, measuring alcohol by volume. I hope that was useful. Please uh, tune in for future blogs. Thanks for listening.